Hello, everyone. Oh, my goodness. Holy moly. Holy moly. Great googly moogly. Okay, hold on, everybody. We got a jazz break. Bit of a jazz break here. Give me a second. You can participate in the jazz break with me if you type cat jam in the in the chat. Cat C A T J A M, but K A uh, the C A T is lowercase and the J A M is capital. Give it a go. Try it out. Here we go. Here we go. You can also type Anka, please, if you want. Or Phone Zone also works with a capital B, capital Z. Such a, such a good song. Livesy walking. Oh my God! There's we, we've got a few dancing emotes now as well. That's good. 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 How is everybody doing today? Tomcat, congratulations on your first once again. Uh, Evil critters, hello. I'm doing good. How are you? I hope you're having a good Saturday. Uh, I hope everybody's having a good Saturday. B. Good morning, Advil. I will have a hydrate as well. I don't want to cry. Having myself not a not a Bethus. <laughs> I'm having a red Bethus. <laughs> Swall nine goober. Avo, Swall nine goober. Thank you so much. Thirty months. Holy cow. That's almost a year. That's ridiculous. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Thank you so much, Avo. How you doing? How are you? Uh, spicy pepper. Oh. Hope you're doing well. Gotta drive my freeloader to her friend's house. Oh no. Oh no. Ah. Oh. The life of having to drive people places. I I don't uh, I don't envy anybody that has to do that. <laughs> my my electric scooter can only carry one, thankfully, and doesn't work this time of year, so not me. She's like a roommate who pays nothing. Oh no! This is your daughter, I assume, yeah. What are you gonna do with them? What are you gonna do? Oh my! Oh my! She pays in in love and. Uh, other, I'm sure, other things. I'm sure there are other things. <laughs> I'm doing good, Ovo. I'm doing good, yes. Having a great, having a great, great uh, uh, morning so far. Slept in. Oh, it was so much needed as well. Oh, I was in such a bad mood towards the end of the week there. Oh, but I had, I had a break. No, no kids. Okay. Crashed at your place for a week and she's been here for over a year. Oh, it's a friend of yours. Excellent. Okay, good. Wonderful. Well then, that puts a different spin on everything. But, you know, I hold true to my word. Pays in love, right? And 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 maybe that might be it. But still, still, we love we love we love our friends, right? Question mark. It pays nothing in no form of currency, right? Yes, yes. For a year as well. Oh my goodness. Uh, uh, any more room? Do you have any more rooms available? <laughs> I'll, I'll... <laughs> you got a room free? I'll come on over. Sounds great to me. Um, we all... We, we need to, uh, celebrate Tomcat's achievement. Let's not... Let's not forget this. Pays an annoyance. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, Tomcat, you are... You are one or two more firsts away from being ten ahead of the person who's in second. So we had we had a nice little close battle for the first in January, but it has now been kind of taken over. Uh, so there you go. You're kicking her out. Oh, <laughs> well, I mean, hey, after a year, if it's just been annoying, it's time to go. Perhaps that's then that's for the best. Will you have the house to yourself then? Will it be too quiet? Uh oh, after a year, I don't know. Here we go. <laughs> Tomcat's number one and reigning supreme and cannot be beat at this point, probably. Well done. You've kind of secured your lead, I think. Like when you were one, two, three even ahead. That was still catchable. Nearly ten. I think you're like eight, eight ahead now at this point. 
I don't know. I don't know if it's possible. Gotta go before she hears me complaining. Hope you, hopefully you're still playing when I get back. Hopefully, yes. I, I hope so. Uh, we're gonna go for a little while today. This is a game I've wanted to check out for a while. It's called West of Loathing. It's apparently an RPG, but in the West, and it's very silly and stupid. So, that's good. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how you've tolerated it for so long, uh, Evil Critters. If I'm honest with you, I, uh, I don't know. I, I also like being alone with my, my with my cat. Just me, me and my guy. I don't mind having a visitor every now and then, but I, I definitely like uh, like being on my own for the most part. I like going out. I don't like having people over to my house, but I like going to other people's houses because <laughs> my house is very small and I like I don't have a couch. I don't have any places for people to sit. My TV is set up so that I can watch it in bed. So there's like nowhere that anybody can sit so that we can watch a movie. Like my, my house is designed for me and for no company. So it's not a very good place to have people. Um, but uh, yeah. I, I I can't imagine having somebody else live here with me for like a year. That's that's wild. Um, so I I don't really know much about this game. I know it's it's silly and goofy, and it's in the West, and it's black and white, and it's like, I, I some sort of point and click, I believe. Um, I I think we may have choices that we need to make, and then things will happen depending on that. I have no idea. I have no idea. There are beans, there's DLC, there's E as well. If you're looking for your bottle of E, there's some right there. And we'll just go new game, I think. Uh, wanted for, for protagonizing. Uh-oh. <laughs> used to love having people over, but honestly, I was thinking the other night that it's been like two years since I actually entertained. I need to throw a little old shindig or something. Yeah, there you go, yeah. Yeah. Get a, get a shindig going. We used to host parties all the time. Um, but when I moved into this place, my landlord told me, like, we love it that you're so quiet. And ever since then, I was like, all right, well, I'm going to try to just keep being quiet. And I haven't I haven't had anybody over since, like, the first month or two that I've, I've lived here. Um, not really. I, we've hosted some events or whatever. But, yeah, you should have a, you should have a shindig. Uh, B. Invite Charlie Chu while you're at it. There you go. I was the first mom friend, so I would gather my little group of misfits and I would cook the turkey dinners and junk for everyone. Oh, that's so nice. That's really nice. I don't know. She's in Ontario. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On a, on a hockey trip. What does this do? Oh, wait. What did I... What, what is this? What is happening? My reward is going down. Edit your name. What's happening? Oh, okay. What's our what's our cowboy name gonna be? Swim. 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 Fonson. No. Swim. Swim. Figgins. Swim. Figgins. Johnson. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sure. 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 I'm Swim Figgins Johnson, everybody, and if you catch me, you'll get 854 meat. 862 meat. My reward is going up. What does this do? Yeah. Fastest draw in the West, baby. I'm worth so much. Oh, my name! No! Swim Figgins! Oh! Swim Figgins Johnson. Okay. Worth 10, 13 meat. That's fine. For protagonizing. Alright, I look pretty normal. Play. Uh, yes, I would love to play as Swim Figgins Johnson. Swim for short. Oh no! Character classes! Okay, <laughs> alright. <laughs> Jeez, where do we want to go with this? Do we want to play as a cow puncher, a bean slinger, or a snake oiler? I'm thinking probably cow puncher, if I'm honest with you. How appropriate. I fight like a cow, you know what I mean? It just seems 
up my alley. Well, I, I could literally fight like a cow. Bean Slinger could be fun as well. Me and the boys, 3 a.m. looking for beans. We found them right there. You know, I'm just gonna, we're just gonna go cow puncher. Cow punchers solve their problems with their fists, whether it's shaking them at a disagreeable feller in a disreputable saloon, or using them to punch a slightly more disagreeable feller in a slightly less reputable saloon. Ah, we punch everybody. You've heard that cow punchers are in demand out west since the cows came home, which stands to reason. The cows aren't gonna punch themselves after all. That's true, okay, all right. The cows are home and they need to be punched. I wanna be a cow puncher. Boom. Ah, we've woken up in our room. Wasted. Okay, we can move around with Wasted. This weird poster appeared here one night. Okay, good. I'm glad. Goodbye, bed. Time to head west to chase my real dreams. My name is Swim Figgins Johnson and I wanna be a cowboy. You read the spine of one of your books, Virginia Swift and the Trouble at the Cursed Basement. Rufus liked this one as much as I did. That feels like a reference. Goodbye, phonograph. You pull the needle away from the cylinder and stow the handle away. Oh, we, we're keeping the handle. Do I have an inventory? Your gear. Your stuff. Okay. Hi, Rogue. Good morning. Hello. Welcome to the way... Welcome to West of Loathing. My spleen is zero out of one right now. My liver is also zero out of one. So is my stomach. Muscle, mysticality, and moxie. Okay. Three M's. Action points, HP, speed. Okay, fair enough. Hat, lapel, pistol. We get a sword. Rings, pants, boots. We got a lot of, like, equipment to find. Okay, neat. All right, what's over here? Goodbye, desk. Should we comb our hair? You comb your hair one last time. You came one experience point. Okay, great. Progress towards next skill up. One out of five. Lovely. Can I do it again? Hey, Russell. How you doing? Ka. Okay. Oh, we've got a pet bird. I'm going to miss you, buddy. Ka, ka. Let's give him a cricket before we go. You grab a cricket from your cricket bag and feed it to Russell. He coos appreciatively and nuzzles your hand. Maybe it's time for you to leave, too. Oh, yeah. We're not going to leave him cramped up here in a cage. we got to set Russell free. You open your bedroom window. Not pictured. <laughs> oh, good. And unlatch the door to Russell's cage. He winks at you, cause one last, cause one last time, then flies away to the west. It's time to hit the trail. Oh, goodbye, Russell, my trusty bird friend. I'll never forget you. Uh, read another title. Gladys Swift of the Trouble at Terrible Burn. This one might come in handy. You got an item. Walking stupid. Oh, I got an item. Okay, hold on. What does this do? This book tells the tale of a renegade sheriff who's really, really bad at walking. Unlocks stupid walking as an option. Um, excuse me? I mean, we should probably read this, right? You read the book from cover to cover and learn how to walk really stupidly. Stupid walking has been added to your option menu. What does that mean? <laughs> Do I want that? Do I want to walk stupid? Probably. You accidentally drop the book and then ruin it by stepping on it 30 times <laughs> while you're trying to pick it up. Oh, no. How, did, how have I done that? <laughs> 30 times. Why? Oops, I guess. Well. Great. Okay, it's gone. Well, <laughs> you already have that one unlocked IRL. Yeah, you got that right. Colorblind mode. You never know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. They've got a colorblind mode in a game that's all black and white. That's fantastic. Oh, that's been, oh, that's actually the best thing. Nerd mode. The script displays a log describing what happens in combat. Provides a few other pieces of metagame information in various places. Combat grid. Automatically spend experience. Attempts to create a... Uh, we'll just leave that on then. Um, I'm going to turn on stupid walking. Does that... <laughs> yes! Now I just walk really stupid every time I move around. That's amazing. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Look at those legs going. I haven't even left my house yet. This is the best game I've ever seen. All right. 
It's time to go. I haven't even left my room yet. There's a whole other bed. There's a whole other room here. All right, stack the firewood. We gained experience. All right, good. We cleaned it up. Good stuff. Nothing on the hat rack today. Oh my god, this hearth really puts the hearth in hearth and home. Hearth. Gonna miss mom's cooking. It's mom's pie safe. Keeps all of her pies safe. That's good, yeah. Alright. <laughs> Cartwheels. What's in here? This is our little brother's room. Okay. You pick up one of your brother's weird books and flip through it. Solutio Problematis and Geotrain Citus Pertinitis. I think this is about math? Maybe? <laughs> An investigation of the laws of thought, on which are founded the mathematical theories of logical probabilities. I think this is about math, maybe? They all say this is about math. Corpus agrimensorum romanorum. No wonder I never know what he's talking about. Yeah, you're right. This is ridiculous. Toys. It's your brother's toy box. We got a puzzle cube. Okay. First thing I need to do... And Matt, this is your fault, still. Still blame you. What? Okay. It let us... It let us change it to tab. What does this do? This is one of your kid brother's weird puddles, puzzles. We can fiddle with it. Are you guys any good at puzzle cubes? Have you guys ever done a Rubik's Cube before? Your brother already had it most of the way solved, but you figured out the last couple of moves. We got experience again. Hooray! Hooray! And we get to keep it. We didn't drop it on the ground and stomp on it 30 times. Okay. This is... This is wonderful. Okay, so... What's out here? Ah! Is this my mother? Your mom smiles warmly as you approach. I'm leaving now, mom. We're gonna miss you, kiddo. And before you leave, I got a present. A present? It's that book you wanted for Crimbo! Crimbo? I know it's early, but it is early for Christmas, but that's okay. Um, which one did I want? Desert survival, bartering, or picking locks? Ooh, picking locks is fun. But I do like being able to just trade things with people. Desert survival might not be bad. We are in the West, after all. I think you have a wrong color on one of the sides. You know what? Rogue, that's a good point. You know what? You know what would make this better? There you go. <laughs> oh. Now we fit in a bit better. Uh, you fiddled with Rubik's cubes before, Matt. That doesn't that doesn't surprise me. You see, you seem like a you seem like you'd be good at them. Have you ever done like a like a big one? You're a very puzzle 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 guy. You're good at puzzles. <laughs> Have you ever done like one of the really complicated ones or or just kind of the, the usual, the normal ones? I was watching a video about people trying to solve puzzle boxes the other night and I just, oh my god, I just, I can't. If you put one in front of me, I will solve it eventually. But if you put me under pressure to solve it in like a certain amount of time, I crack. But they're very, very, they're neat. They're very neat. Got you a mini cube for Christmas, so I learned how to solve it right underneath your left monitor right now. It's a it's it's a nice like fidgeting thing too, I suppose too. I never really thought of that. It's nice to have one kind of handy. If you ever like waiting to load into a game or whatever, you pick it up, give it a give it a shuffle, solve it while you're waiting. That's that gives your finger something to do. It's very satisfying as well. I think the cheap ones maybe aren't so much because they kind of get like caught and stuck. But if you've got like a really nice smooth Rubik's cube just that just goes, you know what I mean? Makes the sounds. You want the chick chick sounds. We're gonna pick some locks. That's the one. You got an item, locks, and how to pick them. Please be careful out there. Write us a letter when you can. I will, Mom. Thanks. This book is a comprehensive guide to advanced lock picking techniques. It's got a whole chapter on tumblers. Let's read it. Lock picking expertise. Nice. After you're done reading it, you donate it to a local orphanage. Soon those orphans will be able to make their escape. Go, orphans, go! <laughs> Good. Well, I'm glad we didn't step on that one and it went somewhere somewhere nice. I hope they make their escape. 
I believe in them. I believe in them. They can do it. Oh, your Rubik's Cube get is cheap and gets stuck. That sucks. Sorry to hear that. Alright. I know what I'm getting you for Christmas. A better... What is this guy doing over here? He's rocking out. No time to screw around in the woods. Is this my dad? Your father morosely jabs at the haystack. That hat doesn't fit you. Time for me to leave. Hold on. I want to get a better look at the hat before I tell him it doesn't fit him. It really doesn't fit him. Did he just give me... Hold on. Time for me to leave, Dad. Listen, I want you to have this. It's your grandmother's brass knuckles. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Dad. Good. Good luck out there. Be sure to say goodbye to your mother. I did. Goodbye, Dad. Thank you for the brass knuckles. Can I still insult him? Can I... I kind of want his hat. He's just barely holding it together. It's probably best for you to just go. Okay. I feel like I missed the opportunity to get... A hat there. Okay, we got our first weapon. These were your grandmother's brass knuckles. Your grandmother was a force to be reckoned with. Okay, good stuff. I will dig through the haystack. Absolutely. It's a needle! Okay, good. <laughs> good. We found a needle in a haystack. It's not for sewing. It's for picking locks. Okay, good to know. Who's this? Roof. Oh, this is the brother. Okay. Your brother Rufus is standing here looking nervous. He's pretty good at looking nervous. Give him his puzzle back. You hand him the puzzle and he starts fidgeting with it. Say goodbye. It's time for me to head west. I still don't understand why you're leaving. He's got a point, you know. Why are you going west? To help people, to seek my fortune, to get off this stupid farm. No, 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 no. We're seeking our fortune. We're going to become famous. There's just no opportunity here, kid. If I'm going to make something of myself, i got to go where I can make some meat. Exactly. 60% of the people who go west get killed within a year. And that statistic is from before the cows came home. I'll be alright. I don't... I hope we'll be alright. You worry about taking care of mom and dad. I'll worry about me. If you say so. I still think you'll be dead by Crimbo. That's not looking out for me, brother. I'll miss you. Okay. Okay. Bit of a jackass. Alright. Go west. It's time to go west. Yes. Hitching a ride across the Great Plains. Aw, oh, yeah. West of Loathing. Here we go. Opening credits. Ah. Oh, watch out for that rock there. Zach Johnson, brother of Swim Figgins Johnson. I love this horse as well. Look at him. Aw, oh, handsome guy. This is the level of, of absurdity to that, yeah. This is this is kind of what I expected, but it's already hitting, hitting perfectly. What's he doing with these? Are these rocks? Are these? What's in the back of this trailer here? Are they turnips? Two hundred miles later. There's a long way west. Ah. Oh. We passed the whole thing, though. What's back there? Oh, we fell over. Oh, no. I guess we're going to find out. Well, the bad news is that you fell off your cart and got knocked out for a couple of hours, and now you've got no ride, no meat, and no prospects. The good news is, is that you're in a town, richer than in a gulch, rather than in a gulch somewhere. Not much of a town, though. Okay, well, we're, we've kind of hit rock bottom here. This is not the best start. It was a turnip. You got a dusty turnip. Sir, hello. Candle fella. I didn't get to see what you said there. Ow. Oh, did that hurt me? Ow. Ouch. Yow. Dang it. I, I don't know if I have health. I should stop that. <laughs> uh, a dusty turnip. A turnip covered in grit increases your muscle, mysticality, and moxie by one for the rest of the day. Okay, I don't know how long a day is, so we're not going to do that just yet, but... We will grab this piece of wood. Three to four damage. Okay, we've already got the brass knuckles, though, which is a better better weapon. Let's, let's see what this is all about. Gone drinking. Okay. Okay, we've stepped in some shit now as well. That's very good. That's too bad. Oh, yeah, it's just everywhere. Makes sense. 
The other night I was feeling down, so I made a tea and played through the entirety of the Untitled Goose game and laughed so hard I cried. Highly recommend. Yes. Oh, that's such a good game. I haven't played it myself, but I've, I've, I've seen other people play it, and it's so good. You just get to taunt people. It's fantastic. That's a, That would be a fun magnet to try to get someday, I think, on the stream. I'm glad you enjoyed it, B. It's fantastic. I hope you honked so, so much. As you walk into the saloon, the crazy-eyed guy sitting to the left of the door shrieks and waves at you to get your attention. Hey, where's your hat, Dagnabbit? Well, well uh, you can't drink in here without a hat. Team proper. He points to the take a hat, leave a hat box next to the door. Okay, good. Well, at least there's some hats in there. You look through the hat box and find a sturdy-looking Stetson. That looks like something you'd wear. All right, cool. Thanks, uh, I'm Pete. Thanks, Pete. He gives you a friendly, if somewhat twitchy nod. Say, feller. You heading west? If and you want some company, I'd be more than happy to come along. Just let me know. No pressure. All right, cool. All right, keep it in mind. Who who was... Oh, he's right here. Okay. What did he say his name was? Pete. What do you say, Pete? I say all kinds of things. For instance, I've been mining these mountains longer than a ball headed corn dog count the stars. Uh-huh. Okay, bye. <laughs> Wait. What's it done in here? It's a spittoon. People spit into it. You know, without even looking into it, that it's absolutely disgusting. Oh, man. Do we look in there? I really don't want to look in there. There might be something. Yeah, it's full of spit. Regular spit, gross tobacco spit, chewing gum, a few teeth. It's disgusting. And the smell. Okay. I don't... Let's look elsewhere. Nope. You decide as you back away from the horrible stink bu bucket. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> it's okay. Nope. <laughs> All right, we'll restart. We were just about to talk to this guy, but we'll 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 restart and we'll talk to this guy now instead. Oh, he's asleep. Never mind. These two people, John Boy, are playing poker, or at least trying to. They keep looking back and for back and forth from their hands to the how to play poker card that came with their deck, biting their lips and concentrating real hard. They don't know how to play poker. Good luck, you two. Okay, if I can learn how to play, if I can get twenty meat. I can come back and join their poker game and probably beat them because they're dumb. You already have a hat. What would you do with two? I would swap it out for one that isn't this one. Leave him alone. Okay, we won't bother the guy playing the music. Who's this? She's glaring at me. Howdy, I'm Swim Figgins. Howdy, Swim Figgins. I'm Horace. Nice to meet you. What do you do? I'm the town hostler. I don't know what that is. I'm the town horse selling guy. Gotcha. Okay, cool. How's that working out for you? They should play Uno. They should absolutely play Uno. Uno is hands down better than poker. 100%. Couldn't agree more. Uh, how's that working out for you? Oh, those horses are just flying out the door. So business is booming. Nice. No, I mean the horses keep running away. I haven't sold one in ages. Oh, no. Is that why you're out here drinking instead? Ah, yeah. And me being in here drinking instead of watching the horses is probably how they keep escaping. It's one of those vicious circle things. Uh, I'm in need of a horse. Do you have any left? One kind of a boring one, but it's got four legs and a back to sit on. Come see me at the stable. I'll be happy to show it to you. Okay. All right. Cool. Get ourselves a horse. You walk up to the bar and wait patiently for the bartender to notice you. While you're waiting, you see a sign taped to the back wall reading, Reward for lost mugs. 25 meat each. Okay. <coughs> So we keep our eye out for some mugs. We might be able to get some money. Good to know. Howdy, cowboy. What brings you to our little backwater? Came out west to make my fortune, not having much luck so far. Unfortunately, Boring Springs already has more people in it than jobs. It's more of an errand town, if you catch my meaning. If you're looking for a real job, I'd recommend talking to the railroad people up by Dirtwater. Okay, what, what's, what's going on in Dirtwater? Dirtwater is interesting. It's far enough west that it's still more or less exempt from the rule of law, but not so far west that it's been burned to the ground by the damn cows. What is going on with these cows? Lots of opportunity there. She pauses for a few seconds, lost in thought. Yep, if I was a younger woman, I'd probably head that way myself. Okay. Uh, what's going on with the railroad? The Manifest Destiny Railroad Company. Okay, good, good name. Very good name. From back east. They're hiring... They're trying to run a line to Frisco. I've heck, heck of a time doing so. 
Are they hiring? They're always hiring for one thing or another. Big company, that. Okay. And what about errands? You mentioned errands. This forsaken burg is always falling apart one way or another. The hostler's always needing help since he hurt his leg, and that no account Scherf. Scherf? Scherf? Could certainly stand to have somebody doing his job bore him. Anything else? I've got a goblin loose in the basement. Some cowpoke in the gulch. Didn't wipe his booze off. And boots off and got spores everywhere. I could probably handle a goblin. I'll unlock the basement door for you. And he's giving me some fungicide. Alright, there's a there's a goblin in the basement. I didn't expect to have to fight goblins, but you know what? I got brass knuckles and a good attitude. I think we'll be alright. This liquid in this can is actually very powerful. It's just that it's tailored to kill weak fungi. This item is used in combat. Okay, effective against goblins. Alright, so we'll use that and we'll punch him to death. And we'll be alright, yeah? Hello? There's a jar of whiskey. A crate of nurse brand whiskey. Good for what ails ya. Okay, good. I'll grab some of that. I guess we never established your age. Good thing the legal drinking age here is can reach the top of the bar. You got a nurse brand whiskey. Okay, good. We're old enough to drink. You got an item. Boring Springs Gazette. April 20th, 1895. Oh my god, April 20th? Excuse me? Pardon me? This is a copy of the Boring Springs newspaper from about six weeks ago. Okay. Doesn't really do anything for me. All right. Well, we've got one now, though. I, uh... The goblin shelps. Bree Yark! Attack the goblin. All right. Our first, our first fight. Against the goblin. He's 1-1-1. All right. I think we're, uh, we'll be all right here, I think. We've got brass knuckles. We've got a gun. We can beef up ourselves. We can heal ourselves. We can give up. And we've got the fungicide. All right, well, you, we'll start the battle with the fungicide, I feel. Oh my god, I killed him instantly! Hell yeah! Having dispatched the goblin, you pat yourself on the back for a job well done. Excellent. And we cartwheel up. We cartwheel on up out of the... Out of the basement. And <laughs> we roll across the floor. <laughs> um, I took care of that goblin. Thank you kindly, Swim Figgins. 200! 200 meat! There you go, it's the least I can do, by the way, thanks. Uh, who's that lady drinking whiskey out of the beer mug? That's Susie, she's a rancher from nearby, a real tough broad. Broad? Tough broad. I ain't recommend you pester her. Lost her whole family to a cow attack recently, got some pent-up frustrations about it. Ouch. I'm gonna go talk to her. Howdy, Susie. Howdy, cowboy. He's gonna be searching for a spittoon for his teeth if you don't leave me in peace. Okay, alright. She doesn't want to be talked to. Time to play poker! Can I play? They look at you nervously. Look, I have some meat. Can I play? You put $20, 20 meat on the table and sit down before they can say no. One of them shuffles the cards sloppily and deals a new round. You get a pair of tens, plus a two, a three, and a king. Uh, okay, I can only bet conservatively. I can't do anything else. Let's see what happens. I'll bet ten meat. They squint at their hands for a moment and each slowly pushes ten meat into the middle of the table. Read them and weep. You show your pair of tens plus two, three, king. The guy on the left has a full house and the gal on the right somehow got a straight flush. Two through six. Okay. All right. <laughs> so we lost. We can shout I win and hope that they just give me the money. Or I could try to intimidate them, I guess. Oh, what do we do? Let's intimidate them. You explain that jacks are worth nine points each, giving the guy on the left a total of 21 points to the guy on the right's 20, and you're 25 plus a king. And the king means they have to either pay you in human teeth or an extra 10 meat each. They gasp and push more meat across the table at you. You collect your winnings and stand up. They thank you for helping them learn the game. All right, excellent. Bye. <laughs> Cheers. Thanks. Thanks, everybody. Ah! Stepped in shit again. Alright, that's okay. That was ethical. I think that was ethical. Step right up, step right up! Braid's the name and trades of the game. You seriously doubt that his name is Braid. Okay. Well, sir, today I'm trading locks for soap and a stick of dynamite for a needle. And to the cunning skinner who brought me three rattlesnake hides, well, to that adventurous soul, I will trade a fine silver pocket patch. Okay. 
Hmm. Remind me not to play poker with you. <laughs> I obey the rules that you just heard. Modestia. Kings are worth quite a lot. Um, and you got to make sure you have your human teeth with you. Um, do I want dynamite for a needle? I mean, we could blow up some rocks and that'll probably help us out, but we could also use the needle to pick locks up, like pick a lock, you know what I mean? Both very useful, both very valuable. Dynamite explodes, though. Be careful with this now. Thank you for the dynamite. Thank you. Let's go see what the sheriff is all is up to. Actually, hold on. Let's read about our dynamite first. Speak softly and carry a loud stick. This item is used in combat. Damages an enemy in combat and is sometimes useful outside of combat as well. Okay, perfect. That's what I was hoping for. I found a mug! That's worth 25 bucks. 25 big slabs of meat. Dynamite also picks locks. That's a good point, B. That's a very good point. I didn't even think of that. But you're right. Hello. Howdy, stranger. Welcome to Boring Springs. I'm the sheriff in these parts. The what? The sheriff, okay? Blasted sign painters. Say, you wouldn't happen to be looking for work, would you? Uh, yes, I am. Great, because I happen to have some. There's a gang of hoodlums around here, what call themselves the Fricker Gang. Last time I arrested one of them, they burst, busted him out and took my cell door with them. It ain't, uh, it ain't much good without the door. And I need someone tough, smart, and or slick to go fetch it back for me. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'll do it. Absolutely. I'm sending the deputy along with you. Keeps you out of trouble. Oh, the deputy is a pistol. Okay. It's not the deputy's pistol. It's the pistol who is the deputy. You deputized a gun? You're new in town. Maybe you ain't noticed, but there ain't much to do here except drink. Let me write down where the Fricker Gang's hideout is for you. Okay. He makes a little note on your map. You discovered a new map location. The Fricker Gang's hideout. I'll be back with the door. Okay, we gotta go find the door to his cell. Map is M. Okay. Make your own damn guide to Boring Springs and its environments. All right. All right, it's this way somewhere. Uh, pardon, sir? Are you a cactus man? You approach the weird cactus man hybrid. He smiles at you. Howdy, cactus man. Howdy yourself. And the name's Bill. Cactus Bill. What happened to you, Bill? Well, to be honest, partner, I drank too much cactus beer, and it turned me into a cactus. Doc Alice warned me this would happen, but I didn't listen. And that's why they call you Cactus Bill? No, that's just a coincidence. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Does it hurt? Does what hurt? You know, being a cactus. Ah, <laughs> no. It's actually kind of nice. The natural fermentation process inside the cactus part of me keeps me pretty drunk most of the time. I guess it is a mite boring. Yeah, I bet. He just stands there, constantly drunk, out in the sun and the cold of the desert all the time. You don't happen to have a newspaper or anything, do you? I do! Much obliged, partner. Now let's see here. What can I do to return the favor? Oh, I know. My shovel. I left it behind the outhouse at Orhole Mine. It's or yours if you go and get it. Okay, cool. I could always use a shovel. Those always seem handy in games like this. Don't mention it. Now, if you can just kind of stick that newspaper to my face before you leave. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Yeah, sure. There you go, Bill. Fantastic. He'll be all right. Okay. Well, we can't get in the doctor's office. You're not allowed in Topeka anymore, remember? What? Remember what? I don't What happened in Topeka? Okay, well, we'll keep moving this way, I guess. We'll keep going west. Oh, wait, no, we gotta get a horse. A thousand meat for a horse! Are you kidding me? <laughs> this is the most typical horse you've ever seen. Okay, I'll, do, do all the haystacks just have needles in them? Okay, that's good to know. We've got two more needles now and dynamite, so take that. Afternoon, sir, what can I do for you? Every day I'm hustling. Okay, good. <laughs> All my horses keep running away. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll give you 300 meat if you find my horses. How many are there? 
three. Pretty much always run away to the same places. Orehole Mine, Boring Springs Boneyard, and Thousand Snakes Gulch. Why do they run to these places? They're like environments that are thematically appropriate. Okay. When you find one feed at these oats, they should send that should send it back here. Pigeon infused oats. Okay, good. It automatically sends them home like a homing pigeon. Fantastic. All right, good. Well, good. I've got some goals. You need a horse. Okay. All right. Well, how do we? Hold on. How do we get to these places? How do we get to these places? Oh, you click on them. Okay, this is the Fricker Gang's hideout. Is that a Fricker Gang member? Do we kill him? He's asleep. Let's kill him. Thud Fricker. The Fricker Gang's intrepid lookout appears to be taking a little nap. Wake him up, just shoot him, or ignore him. Do we want to do this by force, or do we want to try to be sneaky? I'm trying to get this door back. Let's just ignore him for now. Let's see, what else is up ahead? Can't harvest the cactus. We just go in. Yeah, let's just go in. Fricker Gang's hideout. They're all just asleep, oh, except for these guys. But they haven't seen me yet. One of the Fricker boys is dozing in a bathtub. Ask him if he can pass the soap. I mean, I can't. All right, let's see. I want. I Listen, I want to know. I want the soap. He mumbles and hands you a bar of soap before sinking de deeper into both sleep and the tub. Cool. All right. Now we've got some soap. Dr. Speckleton's Pure Castile Soap. Where this comes from, they'll call it. They call it soap. Okay, good to know. What can I do with some slippery soap now? Can I combine the soap with the bar of... Wait, no, 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 no. Put the brass knuckles back on, please, yeah. Maybe we just go say hi? I'm sure that'll go well. Hey, boys! You cautiously approach the Fricker Gang. They're pretty engrossed in their poker game, so it doesn't actually require that much caution. You hide behind a barrel and eavesdrop on their conversation for a while. The one with the eye patch is quiet. You gather that his name is Snipe. And then the squirrely one is his brother, Wimpy. Watch your play here. Approach them and talk. Leave without alerting them. Ten win. Hello. Walks into the tavern, chewing tobacco, speaking in a thick, stereotypical cowboy accent. West of Lonely, the best western game this side of the steam launcher. Spits Inspector. It is a mighty sorry fact that it isn't more right now. What an entrance. Oh my goodness, what an entrance. How appropriate. Thematic as well. Very good. Ten win, how you doing? I, I, I've heard so much about this game, and I've wanted to play it for a very long time, and I'm, I'm already having a great time with it, so I, I couldn't agree more. A mighty sorry fact that it isn't more renowned. I agree. Do we want to talk to the guy named Snipe and, to the guys named Snipe and Wimpy? I kind of want to get to know more behind the characters of Snipe and Wimpy, you know what I mean? Let's, let's say hi. Howdy, boys. Deal me in. Who are you? How'd you get past Thud and Soapy? Uh, you're under arrest? I don't, know. I don't know if that would go well. Let's just lay it, lay it to him straight. Let's just be honest with him. No cause for any fuss then, you know, if we, if we don't try to trick him or anything. I'm here for the sheriff's door. I'll show you the door. The door to hell! He reaches for his gun. Okay, well, we're fighting. The music is a touch loud? Okay, I can, I can bring it down. How's that? That should be better. Uh, Alright, we've got two guys. We've got Snipe Fricker and Wimpy Fricker. Did we kill the Wimpy Fricker for- Oh my god, Snipe only has 5 HP. And there's a barrel providing, providing cover. Okay, Wimpy's behind a cover. Okay, do we just shoot- Shoot Snipe- Snipe Fricker? I don't see why we wouldn't. We got him! He's dead! Uh, trying to shoot this target will hit the sturdy barrel instead. I don't want to use the dynamite. Let's just break the barrel first. Can we? Oh, no, he shot us! Punch him! Go punch him! 
Yeah, okay. Beat him up. <laughs> Beat him up and don't get shot again. Beat him up. We got him. <coughs> the OST has been very good so far. Yeah, no, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. The leaders of the Fricker gang are dead by your hand. The sheriff will be proud of you. Though you're not sure how your mother would feel. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah, I didn't hear any punching sound effects or anything like that there, no. We up we upgraded our, 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 our grit. Uh, let me see here. Sound effects? No, they should... They should still be there. Um... Best font mode? Changes all typeface of the game to Arial. Please don't do this. <laughs> yeah, no. No thanks. Jeez, I missed that one earlier. <laughs> okay. All right, we've got to find the door. Oh, there it is. Combat sound is off. Okay, wait, hold on. What? Oh, shit, sorry. I didn't even realize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the sheriff's door. This should go back to the sheriff as soon as possible. All right. Quest finished. There's a mug on the table. It's another 25 uh, bits of meat. A pile of the pricker's ill-gotten gains. 50 meat, what a haul. Let's go. We'll leave the other two alone. They were just napping. They can, we'll, we'll keep those guys alive. They can, uh, they can carry on the fricker name gang, but for the betterment for the better of humanity. Let's go to the mine. Let's get that shovel. It's behind the outhouse, wasn't it? Look behind the outhouse. Hey, he wasn't kidding. Not that this would have been a funny thing to kid about, I guess. Yeah, no, it would. A device for turning the ground into holes. All right, yeah, he's, I mean, he's not wrong. This definitely does not bear closer scrutiny. Okay, good to know, good to know. Uh, it says you don't want backseating, but is it fine to tell you details after you're past it so it isn't telling you to do something? Uh, no, I might I might do some replays of this game. I, uh, I, I, I know that there are many different paths and choices and decisions that you can make that change the outcome, and uh, we, might, we might do a few run-throughs, yeah, so. Uh, and there might be people in chat that, that want to give it their own try as well. Um, so we'll just we'll just try to keep it as, as relatively spoiler-free as we can. Just, just, just in case, you know, we don't want to spoil it for anybody else. But I... I I appreciate that there is stuff like that to to know about, right? Very cool. I love I love a game like that. Um, there's meat ore. All right, cool. That translates into meat, and we got another mug, which is good. What's in here now? There's instructions for the cargo ele elevator. This mechanism is labeled cargo elevator control. A poster on the wall behind reads. Level 1, blasting cap storage. Level 2, plungers of both kinds. Level 3, tools. Where you want to send the cargo elevator. Leave it alone. I'm not on it right now. Is there more meat in here? An unrefined meat nugget? Excuse me? A chunk of mostly worthless rock shot through with veins of gristle and flesh. And, well, veins. Just sell it. Okay, good to know. <laughs> good to know. This looks dangerous. At least there's no plunger hooked up to it. You can't get past this rubble. Well, the elevator's closed, and in any case, it's not a people elevator. It's a cargo elevator. Okay, right. Let's go to plunger level then. Yeah. Plungers. The sign lied, though. There's only the one kind. Oh, no. Oh, a bathroom plunger, I guess. Yeah, right. I was trying to think of what the other plunger would be. What tools can we get? Now that we've got a plunger. What's this? A toolbox, but it's locked. We can pick the lock. We've got... We've got how many needles? We've got two needles. A crowbar? The needle is ruined in the process. Most of the tools inside are rusted away to nothing, but it was a pretty nice crowbar. We love a crowbar. One of nature's simplest machines. It's exactly what you want on your side uh, if this thing has a lid and you don't want it to have... If the thing has a lid and you don't want it to have a lid anymore. It provides the option to pry things open in certain places. And it's a weapon. Damage 5 out of 6. 
Call me Gordon Freeman up in here. We got ourselves a new weapon. It's better than the... Better than the brass knuckles. Um, oh, wait, hold on. What does... What's blasting cap storage? What is that all about? These crates are all labeled blasting caps. The period is part of the label. But why it's inside the... Why is it inside the quotes like that? What? what? <laughs> that's why it's inside the... Oh, the period is part of the label. That's why it's inside the quotes like that. I see. Okay, good. All right. I understand. What a weird thing to point out. We got a blasting cap. Okay, do we have everything we need now for this? I wonder. Got the plunger. Fighting against your instincts for self-preservation. You hooked up a plunger and strung it a fair distance away. Okay, good. Uh, wait. This makes you nervous. Should we? This should be fine, right? Hold on. What else is over? It, what should we? This is probably fine. You press the plunger and nothing happens. You forgot to hook up blasting cap. All right. You've succeeded. Wait, hold on. What did that say? You've succeeded in putting yourself in grave danger. I'm sure it'll be fine. See? Kaboom! Okay, so how's it going? First? How's it going? What's up? What's up? What's up? Not not quite first, but uh, I admire the, uh, the 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 gutso, the gutso, the gutsbo. What, what word am I trying to say here? Uh. Looks like something buried here. I'm doing good as well. I hope you're having a good Saturday. Finding ourselves in the wild west. Gusto, that's the word. Thank you. Goodness me. I admire the gusto. Uh, <clears throat> I hope everybody's having a good Saturday. We're checking out West of Lothian. We found one of the three horses that we were trying to find. You see the dark horse, barely. This is Katy Perry. Approach her. Hey there, girl. I'm okay. I'm a friend. Winnie. The horse shies away from you. Though, it, though in this case, it's more like cripplingly introverted away from you. Oh, no! We must reassure you. Don't be like that. Look, I brought you some oats. They aren't poison or anything. In retrospect, I guess that wasn't a very comforting thing to say. Uh, punch the horse. I'm not going to punch the horse. Look, it's sad. It's scared. I'm going to pat. I'm going to feed her the oats. That's what I was told to do. You take a handful of oats out of the bag and hold them out. She sidles away from you warily and makes a surprisingly good attempt at hiding in her own shadow. Wow. Uh, let's pat her on the nose a little bit. Back into the shadows. Oh, no! I don't want to eat the oats myself, because that's going to send us back to the... <laughs> I bet that sends us, send us back to the barn. You take a handful from the bag and toss them in your mouth. It's like the roughest, blandest breakfast cereal you've ever eaten. But still, it's better than dry cat food. You smile to show the horse that you're fine and realize that you've unconsciously turned around and walked out of the door. Jeez, these are powerful. The horse looks at you warily as you re-enter with a cheerful wave. See, it's perfectly fine. Okay, let's try to pat her on the nose again. Punches her shoulders and seems to shrink slightly as you pat her on the nose, but she doesn't actually flee, so that's something. Now, eat the, ho eat the oats. Wearingly, begrudgingly, she eats them. Then she gestures at something behind you. You turn around to look, but don't see anything. If you turn back, she's gone. <laughs> oh, no. She Batmaned me. The dark horse pulled a Batman, and isn't that it just vanished? <laughs> That's great. All right, well, we found it. We sent the horse home. Good. Side quest part one complete. And we found a shovel. And we learned how to be a snake. We just roll her out. Okay. Uh, let's go to the... Listen, the boneyard is calling out to me, okay? I want to go here. Uh, let's grab this mug real quick. Our founder, Zephan Zephaniah Boring. 1806 to 1885. He was actually a really interesting guy. Oh, no! Okay. Benjamin Crockett. 1320 to 1364. He showed up way too early. Okay. We will find the horse. There's one here as well. Beauregard Skelton. Beauregard Skelton Captain. Third Cavalry. Third Cavalry. 
1820 to 1866. Dig up the grave to fight him. Hold on, let's see what this guy's all about. Hey, are you all right? Not getting past it without a scuffle. Okay, hold on. Well, let's 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 fight the skeleton first before we fight the other skeleton. Oh, he's a pirate captain. Captain Skeleton, 20 HP. All right, we've got a we've got a we've got a crowbar. We should be all right here, right? Smack him. Yeah. Oh, he's got a sword though. Uh, nah, we're all right. We're all right. We can get him. Ah. The crowbar is mightier than the sword. Get him. Yes. Give me his hat. Oh, his sword is good too, though. We got ourselves a gold tooth as well. Uh, you've put a stop to Captain Skelton's unnatural animation. All right, cool. And we got a sword. Sweet. Is it better than the crowbar? It's the same as a crowbar and doesn't let me open things. Okay, good. Do we heal outside of battle? We must. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Good to know. All right, this skeleton's time to die. He's less, less, less strong. Much less strong. Much less strong. A gun is stronger than a crowbar? Yeah, I didn't even look at the gun. Possibly. We leveled up in our mysticality because we beat us we beat a skeleton to pieces. No, the pistol isn't the pistol actually isn't as strong either. Oh! Your pulse quickens as you get near the spooky translucent horse. You approach the weird semi-transparent horse cautiously so as to not startle her, though you quickly come to the realization that this is not a horse that startles easily. Hi, I'm a friend, okay? Nay. That's a little strange. How did you do that without opening your mouth? Let's give her a pet. You pat that horse's nose, which is very cold. If you were going to ride her, you would want an extra saddle blanket to keep your butt from freezing. Pat her on the nose again. Yep, still cold. Do it again. And again. And again. One more time. Now let's give her the oats. You hold out a handful of oats, but she just sort of stares right through you. Please don't look at me like that. Try the oats again. Are they not spooky enough? I'm not sure how to make oats spooky. I guess I could put some bone meal on them, but I don't have any handy to grind up bones with. Grave dirt? Is that a yes? Weird. Okay. Add some grave dirt. You sprinkle the oats with just a little bit of grave dirt and hold them out again. The horse gazes expression the, the horse gazes expressionlessly at them then eats them and with that she glides away in the direction of town bizarre that, that's my favorite ghost so far that's the best ghost so far T okay timothy cochran 1855 to 1895 devoted husband elizabeth cochran 1887 to 1895 beloved daughter Silas Cochran, 1895 to 1895. A baby. Oh no! A baby? Isn't that from that one game? Silas. The, the, the quarry. Can we burn these vines down, I wonder, eventually, maybe? I don't think a horse, a ghost horse, can have food. Probably not. Not wrong. Okay, I guess we go to Thousand Snakes Gulch next. I imagine it essentially goes the horse equivalent to a T-pose, not moving its legs, just floating onward an inch above the ground. Yeah, just ever so slowly, just floating, emotionless, no movement. Just doing a bit of a hover. Ooh, okay. One of these rocks is really shiny. Grab it! Found a shiny rock! It's shiny, and it's about the size of a rock. Fantastic. We attack. Okay, we gotta fight a snake. All right. Got the jump on him. Okay, good. Eight to nine damage, four to five damage. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The crowbar is definitely the best way to go here. Yeah. It's actually. You know what? Let's try the gun. Got him. 
just to end him off. Uh, before you've slain a snake, before long they'll call you Snake Murder and Swim Figgins. Oh, maybe they will. That would be cool. That snake Murder and Swim Figgins over there. You gotta watch out for. Uh, look, I'm gonna do it again. Oh no! They got the jump on me this time, and I'm bleeding. I'm poisoned. That's probably that's okay. <laughs> that's okay actually. I'm fine with that. We'll just beat him with our crowbar. We are a snake murder and swim figgins after all. Made short work of that long snake, exactly. And our moxie is better now as well. That's good. This snake looks really angry. You're gonna need every trick in the book to beat this one. I'm good at tricks. Okay. This is a tricksy snake. 20 HP. Do we, uh... Hmm. Do we want to use our dynamite on this snake? I probably... Uh, probably not yet, right? We could still... We could take him out pretty easily still. Don't want to waste the dynamite. That's going to be something that we hold on to until the end of the game and then never use it. Because we're waiting for the, the best spot. Yeah. Got him. If the whole cowboy thing doesn't work out, you could always get a job as a snake exterminator. True. True. We found the horse. Is that everything that's here? Yeah, we found the horse. This horse has gone snake crazy, or maybe he was some other kind of crazy before. Hey there, boy. Hey, fella. I'm a friend, okay? Don't freak out on me. Pat his nose. Forget it, man. This horse is whack. He's got poo brain. If any horse here has poo brain, is this guy. And this is the one I want to ride. This is the one I want my horse to be. He's the best one. I do like the ghost horse too, though. All the same. I I, I, I like Batman horse either. Also very good. You carefully and gently pass the horse's nose. He twitches a bit. Okay, a lot, but seems to recognize that you aren't going to eat his eyes or suck out his soul or whatever madness is bouncing around in that skull of his. Look him in the eyes. You're not supposed to do that to a horse. You calmly look the horse in the eyes. One of them is fixed in a glassy thousand-yard stare. The other is revolving madly in its socket like it's thinking of trying to escape in every direction simultaneously. It looks to be coming down a little now, though, that it's clear that you aren't actually made of spiders, though. <laughs> okay, good. Have some oats. You feed the crazy horse some of the hum homing oats, and it gallops away with a whinny. Or rather, a win -yar nyargle. Hopefully he's heading home and not into the 12th dimension. Cool. I agree. You don't have to walk all the way back over there. Hit M. Oh, okay, nice. Cool. It tells me that I can just quick travel. Nice. We've made it back. Horseman, we found all your horses. I don't know how you spotted her hiding in that mine, but thanks for sending back my dark horse. Sure thing. Looks like my, looks like my pale horse made it back safe. Thanks for your help. Anytime. Thanks for finding my crazy horse. He was eating loco weed again, wasn't he? Not that I noticed. Can't thank you enough. Here's a little extra. Um, okay. Just browsing. Thanks. We've got enough to buy a horse. Do we get to pick? If we get to pick, we might have to do a poll in chat. Can we do a poll with four options? Uh, yeah, we can. We can do a poll in chat for, for four for four horses. Basic, shifty, spooky, or crazy. What one are we gonna go with? Pick my pick our pick our horse. Which is our favorite? We got Batman, we got Spooky Ghost, we got Crazy Lad, and we've got reg regular horse. Use your points in chat. We'll we'll do a, we'll do a cheeky little poll. We we don't do those often enough. This is a good opportunity, I think. Also, we've got the sheriff's door back, so let's go deliver that. Hey, sheriff! I see the Fricker Gang hasn't put a stop to your breathing. Did you rescue my cell door? Uh, this here prison cell just got about four times more secure. Are there any Fricker boys left for me to round up? Yeah, there's two that are asleep on the job. 
I'll go round them up shortly then. Looks like I owe you a reward for 400 meat. Should be a lot simpler than the last one. What you need? The frickers busted the lock when they took the door. Gonna need a new lock. All right. Okay. I'll keep my eye out for a safe door lock. There you go. There's the... There's the pole. Basic, shifty, spooky, or crazy. Fantastic. Uh, okay. As soon as we, as soon as we get our horse, then we can move on. Do we want, do we want the guy with poo brain? Crazy wins it with three votes. Absolutely dominated the votes there. Dominated the polls. Fantastic. No surprise there, honestly. Uh, can you sell me a horse? Give me the one with the crazy eyes. I gotta warn you, this horse has seen some sh um, some stuff. Is something wrong with him? <laughs> no, not as such. He's perfectly functional. But? He's always sneaking off to Thousand Snakes Gulch to chew on the local weed that grows there. And that makes him crazy? See things? See crazy things? Oh, sorry. I think it's more like he does it to forget about the crazy things he sees all the time anyway. Okay, color me intrigued. I'll take him. Thanks. Here's the keys. Bye. Ride safe. We're going to give him a name. You guys know what, he, what we're going to name him already. It's fine. All right, then Richard the horse. It's got a nice ring to it. I almost forgot. Free with every horse, horse purchase is a complimentary map. We got the southeast western map. Fantastic. This is ostensibly ostensibly a map, though it's mostly blank. Looks like you'll have to fill out the bulk of it yourself. Okay. And I stepped in shit again. Uh. Okay. Well, we can follow the map to Dirtwater, or we can just go left to go to Dirtwater. Now that we've got ourselves a horse. Once you leave Boring Springs, you won't be able to come back. Any unfinished vision... Any unfinished... Fi any unfinished business you've got will forever remain unfinished. You sure you're ready to leave? Wait, hold on. I want to ask the, the guy about his injury. You said something earlier about an injury. I busted my knee while mucking out the showroom. Don't ask how. It's embarrassing. I was going to get Doc Alice to have a look at it, but she gave up doctoring. Why'd she do that? Just shut herself up in the office, said she wouldn't talk to anybody except for Nurse Whiskey. Okay, she wants alcohol. Well, I've got some of that. Maybe she'll talk to us if we offer up some uh, some of our nurse whiskey here. Hey, I've got alcohol if you want it. What brand? Nurse whiskey. Didn't know she makes house calls. All right, hold on. Unlock the door. Enter the house. Hello, Doc Alice. Looks to be in about in her 50s. Her hair is graying and her face is lined, but her eyes are still clear and sharp. If bloodshot, she holds out her hand. Whiskey. Stat. Uh, give it to her, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. She cracks open the whiskey and fills a small flask she takes out of her pocket. Then she puts the flask back in her pocket and starts chugging out of the bottle. Doesn't seem healthy. Who's the doctor here, me or you? Point taken. Alright, let's read her books. Not that they're gonna do you much good in this doomed forsaken hellhole. Okay. Leaf through the legend of Curly's meat, leaf through the life and works of Fred Ferguson, or leaf through the goblinoid tongues, a primer. Uh, let's read about Curly's meat. The book tells the story of a legendary treasure, a massive chest full of premium meat, secreted in the hidden sense, not in the extruded sense, in the western desert by an old cowhand named Curly Butterfield. Okay. I want to find that treasure. That's very piratey of me in this cowboy world. Hey, we leveled up. We got look. You level up when you read. This book purports to be a Civil War surgeon's autobiography, but flipping through it, you mostly just find lists of reasons that drinking alcohol is bad. So it's actually a work of ludicrous speculative fiction. Haha. <laughs> Haha. -ha. At least there are some useful appendices in the back and some diagrams of appendices. Okay, good. That up their gumption. Fantastic. Uh, oh, we learned how to speak goblin. Oh, shit. You start flipping through a goblin language book. It's confusing at first, but eventually you get so engrossed that by the time you take a break from reading, several blurfs have passed, 
And you also know that blurf is the goblin word for hour. So you've learned to speak goblin. Sort of. Okay, cool. Helpful books. Oh, we could have spoken to that guy now instead of murdering the goblin in the basement. Shit. All right, well, see. Reasons to replay this game, right? You unlock the alcohol, you learn how to speak goblin, and then you go talk to the goblin in the basement instead of just murdering him. And that could lead you on an entirely different path. Uh, this vanity doesn't see like it. It doesn't get much use. You grab a pair of tweezers and pluck some of your more unsightly eyebrows. Game experience. Okay, neat. Shouldn't this be further away from the fireplace? That's a very good, uh, very good point there. Uh, what's the matter with with this doctor? What's the matter? The whole world's gone to hell in a horse cart, and you're asking what the matter? Bandits, cow demons, dead men walking. Why don't you go ahead and pick one, and I'll drink to that. Corpses and skeletons staggering around like puppets with half their strings cut, looking to take a bite out of the living. Yeah, we, we, we did deal with that already. It's nice to get some outside confirmation that I'm not losing my damn mind. But how is that even possible? It isn't possible. It goes against everything I know about medicine. Dead patients don't get back up. Patients. Every doctor loses one now and again. You never get used to it, but it happens. What doesn't happen is then coming back afterwards and looking for revenge. That must be pretty rough. Rough? Buddy, I don't think you comprehend the situation. It's not just patients. It's neighbors, friends, husbands. Oh, no. Um, indeed. She turns away from you and focuses her attention back on the bottle. Hmm. Ah, uh, she lost her husband and patients, and now they're all coming back as the living dead. Found another mug. Uh, oh, we can shovel the shit. It's nasty work, but somebody's got to do it. All right, let's literally clean up the streets here. For the experience. Can I shovel this as well? No? Okay. All right. Go in the bar? Okay. We're not, uh, we're not, we're not... Uh, 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 what am I trying to say here? No, no spoilers. I don't want to be told what to do or anything like that. No, no, no backseating here. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll find my way around. I appreciate the help, but I'm gonna try to find my way around as much as I can. Um, but I will. Now that we are in the bar, we will go back into the bar. I do have these mugs that we need to sell, so we will get our money for that, which is important. Just thought I'd say howdy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would like it if they'd let me switch. Hats. Are you Susie Cochran? Oh, oh, the, 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 one of the living people from that family that died. Oh. How'd you know my last name? I saw the graves in the cemetery. I saw it happen. Saw the whole damn thing happen and couldn't do anything about it. Bartender said it was cows. It was a raid, see? Ma and Pa used to ranch cattle back before, well, back before they came home. Pa didn't make it, but Ma and I managed to rebuild. We ranched pigs instead, and she left me the place when she passed. Go on. Well, I guess a passing herd sniffed out that it used to be a cow ranch, and they attacked a couple of days ago. Happened so fast, I didn't even have time to get my rifle out of the gun safe. Cows smashed in the front door, and a fire started out back by the root cellar. House went up in blazes, just like that. Clear divide, how's it going? Howdy, howdy, howdy. Appropriate, uh, appropriate way to say hi in a game like this today. How's it going? Happy Saturday. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Exactly. There's a snake in my boot. Um, so she, okay, so her dad, her mother and father used to ranch cows. Uh, but then... The cows came home, and they're all demons, and the dad died, and then this person and her mother rebuilt the ranch, but went with pigs instead of cows, to which her mother left to her when she died. A couple of days ago, they attacked and burned it down. What did you do? There wasn't anything I could do. Couldn't get upstairs to the kids because of the fire, and I saw Tim trampled right in front of me. I just, I ain't want to talk about it anymore. What will you do now? 
Head west, I suppose. Nothing keeping me here, and no desire to stay. I can't leave without my rifle, though. It's my ma's rifle. It's all I got left of, of anybody. Left it at the ranch like a damn fool. Listen, can I ask you a favor? I need someone to go get it for me. Yeah, I'll go get it. Yeah, let's go to the ranch. I want to see what happened. Devastated by demon cows. Let's go to the Cochrane Ranch. All right. Oh, it's all burnt to smithereens. Susie's Ranch. It's burned. Tarnished. Attacked by demon cows. Oh God, I can hear. I can hear the cows. Something behind this door is making some pretty awful noises. I mean, it's not, I mean, we're gonna have to go in, right? Go through it anyway. Oh man, what's down here? Looks like somebody was in the middle of fixing a knife. Got a varmint skinning knife. Allows you to collect skins after beast from combat. All right, nice. What is that? These pipes were not safe. Oh my god. This thing looks angry. You're not gonna make it to that safe without dealing with it. Okay. Alright. I, I guess we're fighting a demon cow, everyone. That sounds about right. I'm at work, but just popped in to say hi, and I love this game. Hi, Master Kiki. I hope, uh, hope work is going well. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, this game is brilliant so far. Absolutely loving it. Very, very silly. Very goofy. We're, we're, we're gonna kick this demon cow's ass. Hopefully. Oh, yeah. 15? No problem. This crowbar is gonna smash its head in. Kablam! Oh, I am on fire now, though. Oh, no! Ugh. Ah! Two hits. No problem. No problem. Fire cow has been dealt with. Hot beef. Done and dusted. That increased our glamour. All right, what's in this gun safe? The rifle. Okay, good. Six little notches carved into the stock. Ah, all right. I can't open that? Okay. All right, well, we got the rifle. I'm sure she'll be happy about that. And if she goes west, maybe we'll see her when, when we also go west. We are just ice skating along. Look at that. <laughs> That's so good. Uh, I found your rifle. Here it is. Susie's eyes well up with tears as you hand her the rifle, and she roughly scrubs her sleeve across her face before any of them spill over. Thanks, stranger. I didn't catch your name. I'm Swim Figgins. Thanks, Swim Figgins. Can't rightly say what this means to me. <laughs> she looks right at the right. She looks at the rifle for a long moment, then looks back up to you. She sighs. Well, that's enough wallowing in misery. Time for me to hit the road. If you want me to tag along when you head west, you just say the word. Sounds good, Susie. Oh, we can take someone with us, right. Uh... Wait, hold on. Pete takes a swig of his whiskey. Pete notices the shiny rock you're carrying, and his wild eyes light up. That there is a right shiny rock, you got a stranger. I'll give you seven meat for that rock. Yeah, sure. I'll take that old silver nugget out of your hands if you like. Give you 81 meat for it. Sure. Yeah. I'll give you that as well. Sure. Jeez, he's just buying everything from me. Pleasure doing business with you. Pete's eyes narrow as he, as the gears in his head start to click. He fixes his gaze on you, and the tick in his eyelids seems more pronounced. What's going on here now? Listen, kid, all this stuff I've been buying from you. You've been spending time underground, ain't you? Well, you listen to old Pete's advice. You'll stay out of ore hole if you know what it's good. If you know what's good for you. There's stuff down on the 14th, 40th level that ain't worth... Hold on. Stuff down on the 40th level that ain't worth messing with for a fella wants to keep his eyes, if you catch my meaning. Not sure I do, but thanks. I mean, we're gonna go look. We're gonna go look. I ain't listening to old Pete. What does he know? How do I get down to level 40? You suddenly remember that weird thing that Pete said about level 40. Is is that a real thing? Level 40. What's Pete up to? What secrets is Pete? 
A strange black chest. Open the chest. What's he got in here? A wave of nausea hits you as you slide the heavy lid off the chest. Inside, there's a hat. It looks evil, and not in an abstract way. It has eyes, and they look like the eyes of a murderer. And it has teeth, which looks like the teeth of an animal who would be a murderer if animals understood the concept of murder. Oh, guys. Guys, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, okay? If I open that black chest and there was like a pair of boots or a pair of pants or like a knife or a gun or a Ouija board or literally anything else that was evil, okay? Literally anything else, I would have said, nah, it's evil. I'm not touching that. I'm not touching it. But it's a hat. I love hats. I'm putting it on. You have a sense of foreboding. Something tells you this is a bad idea. It's me. I'm telling you this is a bad idea. If you put this hat on, you won't ever be able to take it off, and things will be much harder for you. It will be as though your life is a game, and that game's difficulty level is greatly increased if you catch my meaning. Oh, see, as interesting as that would be... Bring it on. It's a hat. I can't say no to the hat. You grab the terrible hat and put it on your head. You hear a sigh of pleasure coming from above your forehead as you feel the hat's teeth sink into your skull. This is going to be great, a voice whispers. You shudder. Look at my cool hat! All this quietly snarling hat wants to do is slowly eat your head. Is that so much to ask? Makes the game harder and can never be removed. Well, great. Oh jeez, it's swim. I like your hat, Figgins. It is. It is. I'm gonna go show Pete my cool hat. See what he thinks of it. Uh. He doesn't have anything to say about it. Okay, he doesn't care. All right. People keep telling me they'll come west with me, but they won't actually come west with me when I ask when I decide I want to go west. But I think it's time. I think it's time we go. We've got our evil hat now. We're ready to never come back here. You're probably horsed and ready to start your new life in the West. All you need now is a partner. Somebody to share the trail with. Somebody you can rely on for emotional and combat support. Who will you take with you? I think I'm going to go with Susie Cochran. My hat wants me to go alone, though. Oh, man. The hat probably wants me to go west and just do evil, evil, murderous things. Do we want to do that, or do we want to do something else? The horse? We could take Susie. That's who I was thinking. I was thinking about taking Susie. It might be fun to take Pete, because we've got the evil hat. I'm going to take Pete. You pop back to the saloon and take Crazy Pete. Hit the trail. One last thing before you go. I want to know what this story about... Because Pete knew about the hat, and now I have the hat. So we're going to see what happens. Up until this point, I've been automatically spending your experience points for you. I'm happy to keep doing it, and I promise to give you a nice, well-rounded experience. Shall I keep it up, or will you prefer it to decide for yourself where your experience gets spent? No, keep doing it for me. I don't want to think about that. You can solve the southeast-west map the hostler gave you. It only lists two things, the town of Dirtwater and the Manifest Destiny Railroad Company's westernmost camp. I guess we're going to Dirtwater. We've made it. We've made it. Dirtwater and then... Oh my god. Dirtwater and then the railroad camp is up that way. All right, big map. Didn't expect it to be that big. That big. Uh, I heard in- wait, what did you say about England? Room for rent, rent, okay. What does Pete want? What's happening, Pete? Well now, if you're interested in mining and such, I happen to know a little mine not too far from here. Is it a good one? Ain't never been. We'll have to explore it and find out, okay? What should we do next, Pete? If you're in a hurry to push west, I'd say a train will get us there a mite faster than a horseback. You got a railroad camp marked on your map. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, let's look around in here, though, first. You look sad. Howdy, I guess. Okay, we've got a mercantile. 
We got a post office. There's a jail. Lot unavailable. Or lot available, lot available. Okay, there's places for quite a few spots for other things to be built. Not a lot available. That's this point, okay. Maybe we'll see other stuff pop up. Let's check out the prison. Let's see what's going on with the with the, with the low lifes. Are you the sheriff here? No, we currently don't have a sheriff. Offer to be the sheriff. What? Just like that? Do you have law enforcement experience? I, I rescued a door that one time, yeah. Have you been to sheriff school? No. Do you have an existing relationship with Dirtwater's local government? Are you familiar with all the local ordinances? Do you even live here? No? Then what may I ask in tarnation makes you think you'd be qualified to be the sheriff? I just assumed... You just assumed that you could mosey into town and become sheriff on your first day. I mean, why not? Worth a shot. If I had five meat for every wide-eyed protagonist looking kid who wanders in here thinking the most important tenderfoot to ever strap on iron, I wouldn't need this dead eye dead end clerking job. Happens all the time. Alright, well I can help you out at the very least. Wanted posters are back there, cells are over beyond yonder. Okay. Alright, we got one, two, three, four, four cells, and then there's a ghostly cell. So I guess we can try to fill these up, I guess. It's a wanted poster. Or a wanted poster, if accuracy is important. It says wanted. It's a house in the desert gang. For mortgage and non-payment, squatting, and general public nuisance. Also for murdering two collection agents. Last seen at the house in the desert. Okay. You wonder if the house is named after them, or if they're named after the house. Oh yeah, the house in the desert. The house in the desert gang. Uh, yeah, we can go after them. Might as well. I'll take this one too. Oh, it's a wasted poster. The poster reads, Wasted. The stripey hat gang. For grand theft paint and tasteless hat vandalism. I will not stand. Dirty rotten paint thieves and low down no fashion sense hat vandals. Yes. Cavern Canyon. That's where we're going first. After we visit the post office. Hello. Do I have any mail? I'm Swim Figgins Johnson. Any mail for me? No. Cool. <laughs> nice. What's in here? Do you got any potions I can drink to f cure my ailments? Whoa! Yes, they do! Advanced cow punching. Disposable binoculars, soda crackers, tooth powder, Vienna blood sausages, plum pudding, disposable binoculars. Oh my goodness, there's so much stuff. Could learn a new pa cow punching skill. Uh, used to discover a new map location. Alright, not bad, not bad. Save it all for later. We'll head into the saloon. We'll say hi. Who, what's what's all going on in this saloon, I wonder? Oh my god, a fight! And Pete's here, and there's this platoon. By slop, there's a kitchen. I'm there allowed to drink with hats on. Without hats on? Do you have to have a hat on here? Slop, five meat. The piano player is not very good at his job. He's not great, no. <laughs> I think that's fair. The old man stares off into the distance listening to the piano. He doesn't react to you at all. Okay. This gal doesn't seem like she's in the mood to talk. Well, howdy there. Always nice to see a new face in town. Welcome to the Jewel Saloon. Glad to know you, Swim Viggins. Folks around here just call me Lloyd. What can I do for you? Uh, I'll have a shot of bourbon. Coming right up. You lose five meat. Um, I saw a sign up front advertising a room. Finest room in the house. Plenty of room for your partner, too. How much does it cost? 
The previous tenant was a banker fella. He paid a month in advance right before getting himself killed by bandits. He seemed like a decent sort, so the room's yours if you want it. Thank you very much. I got us a room, Pete. Uh, nice. Alright. Well, I'm gonna go arrest some hat vandals. If I can... Oh! This is our room. Turn yourself in for walking like that? Yeah, I really should, shouldn't I? Jeez. You call yourself a goblin-loving, good-for-nothing jerk. You gain an effect. Angry. <laughs> okay, good. I've learned how to get angry. Do it again. Insult yourself again. You better not insult yourself anymore. You get any angrier, you're liable to pass out. Oh no! We're so angry. Uh, we can take our postcard. What's a blank postcard? Maybe you should write to your family back home. In case you don't know how the mail works, you send these by going to a building called a post office and giving it to the correspondence wizard who works there. Okay. That's not exactly how it works, but let's have a nap. You dream that you're locked in jail with a cow in the middle of the desert. For some reason, you meet someone who looks exactly like a clown, but isn't. You wake up drenched in sweat. You wake up refreshed and restored, and hungry, and sober. Okay. Day two. The second day for the rest of- the second day of the rest of your life. No pressure. What are these guys doing over here? Oh, they fell asleep while they were fighting each other. Good. Let's go to Cavern Canyon. As you're riding down the trail, a dirty urchin jumps out, points a toy pistol at you, and demands that you pay the toll by doing 20 push-ups. Ignore the little scamp. I'm not strong enough. You actually received a postcard recently. Had a recipe for key lime pie on it. That's amazing. Are you going to do it? Are you going to check it out? I love that. Oh, man. <clears throat> okay, so there are spiders in this tunnel, right? <laughs> I think there might be spiders in that tunnel. What's over this way? Hmm, maybe that's a different entrance? Can we pry these boards off? Yes, we can. These boards can't hide from your prying eyes or your prying crowbar. Good. Let's just get us in a secret way. What's the difference between that entrance and this entrance? Weapons. This crate has weapons scrawled on it in black paint. You know, I have doubt. I have doubt. Booze. Medicine. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave those, I think. I don't want them to explode and kill me. Ah! It's the Hat Bandits! It's the Hat Vandals! Murasaki Shoe! Booze is always the answer! I could go- I could open the booze crate, but I don't want it to explode and just kill me, you know what I mean? We're gonna sneak up on the Hat Vandals and see if we can take them on. There's three of them and one of me. You are really pushing your luck here. If you get any closer, they're definitely gonna attack you. Okay, maybe we just leave them. We've got the hat on. That's not what's happening. Let's try. Let's try the booze box then. We're gonna take Murasaki Shoes' advice here. You open the crate to find a single bottle of booze. It's not the fanciest in the world, but with these parts, it's pretty fancy. You hear a sudden chittering coming from that big hole behind you. Oh yeah, that doesn't look great. No way are you going back in there. Okay, well, we got... We got... We got some booze. Um, going forward, though, uh, we're not... We're not doing any backseating or anything like that in the chat. I'm gonna try to figure out... And kind of do this in my own... My own style, my own kind of way. Um, and while I do appreciate the help if I get stuck, uh... We'll kind of... Wait until, uh... Wait until I do get stuck before we start throwing out tips and tricks in the... In the chat and stuff, if you guys don't mind. Um, I'm curious about the spider door. 
This door has like 15 deadbolts on it. The note tech to it says, please don't open this door unless you want to get eaten by a giant spider. Even then, don't open it because the rest of us don't want to get eaten by a giant spider. It isn't even signed, so you can, you can be, you can hardly be expected to take it seriously. All right, well, I'm not gonna open the door. <laughs> we'll go in this cave instead. What's in here? You can see the gang on the other side of this big pile of junk, but you're not gonna be able to fight them from this end. Maybe if you had more legs, you'd be able to pick your way through it. If you had more legs. You know, maybe we do let the spider out. The tunnel behind this opening goes straight up. There's no way to go through it unless you're a huge spider. Okay. Well, can we go in? No. Well, that's because the spider's in here. And I can't get back in now. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I might just fight the guys now, then, if that's the case. Wait, maybe going in here? No. Okay, okay, okay. You hear a horrible skittering noise, followed by a scream, followed by more horrible skittering noises, followed by more screams, followed by some rapping noises, followed by some muffled screams. There's more skittering than silence. Um... Hmm... Let's, uh... You know, curiosity. Curiosity kills the cat, you know? And I want to see what happened. Oh. Yeah, this is kind of what I expected. Now we can get past them. Thank you, spider friend. Uh, danger bar, danger kitchen. Can I help these guys out? Can I let them loose? The gang has been prepped for spider consumption. Don't do anything just yet. We can leave them there. Okay, but we can arrest them. But it'll take us back to town. Alright, we don't want to do that yet. We want to rest. We want to check out the kitchen first. Oh, there's a guy left in here. Is he their chef? Did he survive the spider attack? This poor chef is chained to the wall. His eyes widen as you approach. Are you here to rescue me? Uh, yeah, sure. Thank goodness. I'm Doug. I'm Swim Figgins. How, you do, how do you do, Doug? I've been chained up in this dank cave for weeks, cooking those stripy hat, stripy hatted idiots. You wanna know the worst part? There's a perfectly good oven eight feet to my right, and a shelf of perfectly good ingredients eight feet to my left. How's that the worst part? The chain is only four feet long. I know, right? There I was, fresh out of culinary school with a million meat idea in my head, and now here I am, four feet shy of my dreams, cooking the same pot of soup over and over again. What million meat idea do you have? You promised not to steal my idea, right? I'm absolutely gonna steal his idea. I'll save him and let him loose, but I'm, gonna, I'm taking his idea. It's a new kind of sandwich, or maybe a taco. It's so revolutionary that I'm not quite sure where it fits in the whole hand food taxonomy, to be honest. It's the middle of it. In the middle of it, there's a sausage, but it's sausage made from the cheapest possible parts of a pig, ground up so finely that you can't identify them anymore. Okay. And it's served in a long split roll which soaks up the grease so you can't tell how fatty the sausage is. It's starting to sound an awful lot like a hot dog, if I'm honest with you, my friend. And the best part? The name. You ready to hear the name? Sure. I call it the hot dog. How about the hot swim figgins instead? Don't be ridiculous. Hot swim figgins. What does that even mean? That's ridiculous. There's no need to be mean about it. Not that any of this matters. Even if it did get off this chain, there's no point in hanging around in this empty cave making hot dogs just for myself. I don't even like the taste of them. Uh, you're a genius, swim figgins. Hot dogs for sale. All day, every day. I'll make a mint. Say, hey, there's an idea. What if I added mint to the sausage mixture? No, oh, man. I hate mint. You help him break his chains. He leaves the cave, hauling the oven and shelf full of ingredients, muttering to himself about new sausage recipes. All right, well, good for Doug. I still, I, I would rather, I would rather call it hot swim figgins, though, but that's fine. All right, let's poker our way out of this cave. What's in the bar? 
Oh no, it looks like this place needs, needs no bartender. The bartender wasn't as like uh, as lucky as the as the chef. He had a jar harp in his pocket. Maybe they killed him for playing the jar harp too much. It's a little twanger. You can pluck it if you like. You stick the twanger in your mouth and pluck it the best as you can. Pluck it some more. You pluck your twanger to the beat to beat the band. Pluck it some more. I'm just plucking my twanger. I can pluck my twanger all day long. You pluck your twanger with vigor. You pluck your twanger joyfully. Okay. We will stop plucking our twanger. All these bottles are empty. Take them. Cheap whiskey, cheap tequila, tweet, cheap wine. Okay. They're all just buffs. Very good. Well, now we're going to arrest these guys. You stack the cocoons on the back of your horse, except for one which Pete pushes all the way back down to town in a wheelbarrow he found somewhere, and you head back to the Dirtwater Jail. We found him! They had a run-in with a giant spider. A giant spider of justice. Fortunately, the result is for results. Or the reward is for results, rather than for explanations. We got a thousand meat from that. And we upped our tough customer uh, skill, which I think is groovy. And look! In prison with them. Fantastic. This evil hat isn't really telling me to do many evil things at all. The house in the desert thing. Okay, let's go get them next. The house in the desert gang. They are probably... They're probably in the desert house. <laughs> if I had to guess. Oh no. Off to one side of the trail you see a covered wagon and a small family of settlers who look upset. We're on our way to Dirtwater, but our wagon went and broke down on us. You're liable to get attacked by bandits out here. Or snakes, or coyotes, or ghosts, or other things that basically live exclusively on stranded... Travelers, yeah. Give them a ride to dirt water or leave them to their own devices. We can help now, yeah. Alright, I'll give you a... Wait a minute. You've got two horses hitched to this wagon. Why don't you just ride the horses? What? You know how to ride a horse, don't you? Just ride to dirt water. But these are cart horses. What? <laughs> I mean, I'll... they're stupid, but I'll still help them. Stupid lesson. Coming from experience, stupid people need help, alright? You can't, you can't just leave them to their own devices and expect them to figure it out. You need to help them. We'll, we'll help them get to dirt water. And now we'll go to the desert house. As you're riding towards your destination, a flash of color catches your eye. You parallel park your horse and stop to investigate the source. It's one of those cacti with the rainbow colored buttons on it. What? What? We'll just leave it alone. We can't do anything with it, but that's interesting. You also know that experience? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you do. <laughs> I'm sure you're quite familiar. Um, as you dismount, you approach the house where the bandits are holed up. You hear a voice from inside say, "What was that?" Looks like you're gonna have to be sneaky if you want to avoid if you want to avoid a full-on fracas. Sneaky is my middle name. Wait, really? Yes, sneaky is my middle name. Okay, if you say so. Thanks. Did that change my name? Am I now Swim Sneaky Figgins Johnson? I hope so. Can we go around this doghouse, I wonder, so it doesn't come out at us? From the sound of it, you'd say this doghouse contains an angry dog. They sound... <laughs> weigh my options. You're not going to be able to get past without alerting the gang inside the house. Back off for now, okay. Um, this doghouse contains an angry dog. Very funny. You're not going to be able to get past it without alerting the gang. I don't know if we can fight them. We'll hold off on this for now. We'll hold off on this. Where else can we go? Let's go to... Let's go to the mine first. You find a pair of binoculars hanging on a passing cactus. I mean, 
A cactus you're passing, not a cactus that's passing you. It only looked like it was passing you because of your frame of reverence. Okay. These will come in handy, but they will also come in pairs because otherwise they wouldn't be monocular. All right, yes, you're right, you're right. All right, there's a meat vein. Oh, I need a pickaxe. Or some mining equipment. Ask Pete to explain it to you. Hey Pete, do you know how any of this stuff works? I reckon I do, but I ain't gonna tell you. Don't want you getting any ideas, you see. What? I wanna, I want the meat though. Explain it to Pete. Hey Pete, what? I just wanted to tell you something about this mining stuff. Okay. So this first machine here, this is an automatic meat grinder. Pete stares at you blankly. Move on to the next machine. And this thing over here, this is used to extract pure mud and then slough it. Pete's eyes. Keep going. And this third machine, this is a, uh, 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 a, a magnetic silver roller. It converts, um, resin into bitumenous ore. You got a perk. Mind splainer. <laughs> oh, no. You finished? Yes. Okay. I'm sorry for mansplaining that to you, Pete. <laughs> but I've learned something from it, so that's good. Alright, do we go... I guess we go in. Snake pit mine. What do we got here? Oh, spooky creature. Snake. Pull it out and punch it. Hell yeah, dude. And we got Pete with us. Oh, wow, he's not very healthy. Jesus. 47?! All right, we really did go. We did make this. <laughs> this hat was a bad idea. <laughs> this hat was a bad idea. Um. Okay, get the snake. We, I think we're probably just gonna die here. I'm sorry, Pete. Oh, I could use the dynamite. That will do 20 damage. Raising all stats by two. All right. Give us a pep talk before you die, Pete. It was nice knowing you. <laughs> He's dead. Okay. All right. All right. Oh, okay. We can take a few. We can take a few hits. We got him. We can use the dynamite on him. No problem. Oh, we might not even need to. You know. Let's see if we can hold on. Save the dynamite for absolute oh. moments. Yeah, we didn't need the dynamite. We're good. We're good. Tough fight, but we're good. Ugh, get him. Muscle level 4, 35 meat. You skin it with your trusty knife. Coal snake skin. Hooray! And more meat. And we got a mind splitting bonus. Excellent. Good. Put this on your head to add three moxie. Oh shit! You put the coal snake skin on your hat, making it slightly blacker than it was before. At least in the area right above the brim. Okay. Neat. Plus three moxie. There's a smoking snake in this smoking hole. I just leave him in there. <laughs> seems dangerous. It seems quite dangerous. Mining supplies? We got a sulfur match and we got some dynamite. Oh man, we got more dynamite. Let's go, let's go. The den is full of snake eggs. Do we want to fight the snake eggs? No, we've got a pick now. Okay, okay. Oh, there's a... Yeah, yeah, we can get this meat vein. Lovely. Unrefined meat nuggets, 27 meat. Pete points out some meat that you missed. You got 16 extra meat. Plus five experience and a mind splaining bonus. Goodness gracious. Am I just sick at this game? I think I might be. Uh, 
Wait, should we kill all the spider babies? Let's kill all the spider babies. That's gross. That's gross. We don't want any of these. No. They're not spiders, they're snakes. We don't want any snake snake babies. Get scrambled. Oh, they did all hatch now and they do all have 45 HP. Okay, this is a horrible, horrible, terrible, bad idea. Oh my god, 10 Okay, this... Alright, alright. Okay. This is... We die here. <laughs> we absolutely die here. Wait, can I just run? Giving up is the same as losing. Okay, no, we're, go we're not going out without a fight. We're not going out without a fight. Get him. Take at least one out with us. Oh, we might not. <laughs> we might not. No! Swim figgins! If you want to break a few eggs, you're going to have to make a better omelet than that. Now we're angry. What does this do? Anger level gets higher than the two, you'll pass out from rage. Oh, that's what... Okay. So it just respawns us. Okay, that's not that bad. We got we got absolutely scrambled there, B. We got absolutely scrambled. Um, Let's get this other vein that's out here. Yeah. And can I use these machines at all? No, I can't even do anything with them anymore. Okay, what do you do? What should we do next? Oh, the train, okay. All right. Let's go. Let's go to the railroad camp. You spot an astonishingly large horse apple in the distance. You are literally astonished by the size of it. It is very large. You discover a new map location, the Big Apple. The Big Apple? Oh, come on now. We're gonna go there now. We gotta check out the Big Apple. As you reach the center of the clearing, you are simultaneously struck with profound awe and a terrible stench as you discover the largest road apple you've ever seen. You can't even imagine how it got here. Was it a giant horse? Was it 200 normal-sized horses acting collaboratively? They... they should have sent a poet. Big apple. That's all dirty and gross. Doesn't smell any better close up. That's all that's here. We can clean it up with our shovel. Keep digging. Okay. Okay, I could just... I'm just gonna keep cleaning up this massive... Apple. Let's just, you know... I'm just cleaning up this apple. There we go. We did it. Woo! We cleaned up the apple. Pete. The old Cold Ridge Mine ain't far if you got time to check it out. Okay. Well, thanks for that. Take care of the house in the house in the desert bandits. Oh yeah, well. We'll do that later. About an hour and a half away from me is a roadside attraction called the Big Apple, and you're not going to believe it. It's a Big Apple. Oh my god. <laughs> is it like this one, though? It's all dirty and gross. It's a big pile of slop in the middle of the street. Because that's not... that's not great. Acelite. Jerks gold. He throws the rock away and washes his hands with his canteen. Heat has grown stronger. What? What? Hold on. Acelite, what's called jerk's gold. Is that like fool's gold? It's similar to fool's gold, except it's poisonous. Oh, he washes his hands. Okay. He's, Pete's got stronger. The Manifest Destiny Railroad Corporation. Okay, we're here. Hello. Who's in charge of this outfit? If I'm being charitable, I'd say the fella over there in the white hat is the foreman. And if you're not being charitable, then I'd say that paperbacked idiot over there in the absurd white hat is the fellow you're looking for. Oh, thank you very much. Okay. Oh, look at him. I love this hat. You want to know something? I love trains. Ever since I was a little boy. Huge, magnificent, roaring iron beasts. 
They were magical to me, like dragons. When the opportunity arose to take on management of this rail line, I jumped on it like a shot. And you know what I learned? What's that? Organizing and building and running one of these operations is the most amazing pain in the ass you will ever imagine. You want to help? Congratulations, you're the new foreman. I'm going home to play with my models. Well. I was given, I've, I've been given a job. Uh, it's a huge apple-shaped building with a face. And we have an orchard and sell apples and pies and such. I love that. That's so cute. I would love to go to an apple orchard. I'm a big fan of apples. I like to rip them in half with my bare hands. Uh, I'm the boss now. I'm Smee, your assistant. Uh, I'm sure you didn't miss the giant pile of rocks blocking our path. The surveyors say there isn't anything other suitable mountain pass, so we can't reroute around it even if we had the months it would take. Um, take a lot of dynamite, a whole year's worth, I figure. Oh my god. Pack of goblins stole it all. Alright, I can get it back to you. Gustavon Gulch. Okay, no problem. I can talk to them. I don't need to kill them. I can go talk to them. He's too busy playing with his watch to get any work done. I bought it from this gallery runs a store down south of here named Buttonwillow. Buttonwillow Mc... Mc something. Buttonwillow McKittrix. Thanks. Don't mention it. Mention it. No, thanks a lot. Don't mention it. Mention it. Don't mention it. I mean it. It's no trouble. His eyes narrow. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I've been given the opportunity to annoy this man. And I'm going to take it. Mention it. Do not mention it. He looks about ready to punch you if you don't knock it off. Okay. All right. Fine. Can I get in the train? The old bronze elephant. Is that what it's called? Hmm. Okay. Well... Gustavon Gulch, was it? Get rid of the miners. You encounter an overturned wagon surrounded by ruined books and broken pairs of spectacles. Looks like a family of especially literate homesteaders met an untimely end here. Tragic. Advanced cow punching, number, volume number 94. Nice. I'll read another book. We haven't read a book in a while. New cow punching skill. There's a chapter about situational awareness and its importance when trying to survive in a world full of demon cows give ever gives ever vigilant a perk that increases your maximum ap by two there's a complex pronunciation guide written by a linguist who was raised by cows it gives menacing moo a skill that reduces the muscle of all your opponents or i can learn the skill brawny which is a perk that increases your maximum hp Ooh, max hp is pretty good but making my opponents worse probably better. I'm gonna go with that. I wanna move at my at my foes. You unleash an earth shattering moo that destroys the rock you're sitting on and the book. <laughs> Moops. <laughs> Beautiful. Who's this guy? Hello. Hi, hello. Being a mayor. Welcome. Now I'm going away, please. Oh, he's a goblin. Oh I see. We can talk to him though. Um Oh, I hope he's a nice goblin. I mean, not most of them are not that, but... Can I not coming in? Sorry, only for goblins being very private. Okay. Um. Out muscle him. I don't have intimidating to... Uh, <laughs> I'm going to have to kill him. No, <laughs> I'm going to kill him. Yeah. But quick! Oh, you gotta... Oh my god, no! <laughs> okay. He kicked Pete in the dick and he died. Um, so that didn't go great. I will deal one damage. Okay, now let's give up. Let's give up. Sorry, Pete! Sorry, Pete. We leave. <laughs> we don't do that at all. Um... 
Let's go back to dirt water. You hear a rustling sound and trace it to a small gulch nearby. Peeking over the edge, you see a goblin rustling around in the bush. Presumably, it's a gulch goblin rustler. He looks up at you and makes some angry sounding goblin noises. I can't fight it. I don't think I can. Is he just gonna kill me? No? Okay, we might stand a chance against this one. There we go. I did do this to myself. I do regret putting the head on. <laughs> I absolutely do regret putting the head on. Got a goblin sandwich. Delicious. Okay. Um, unfortunately, guys, I'm actually going to have to save uh, save here and kind of call it quits. Um, I'm starting to get a sore throat. I think it might be all of the reading from this, uh, from, from this game. Um, but I'm like, yeah, my throat is starting to not feel well. I'm either starting to get sick or it's just because I'm reading a lot today. Um, but either way, I think I'm going to have to call it. I've, I've gotten all sweaty and stuff from, from the throat and everything, which is not great. Um, I hope I'm not getting sick because that would suck. I haven't been sick in a while and I, I don't want, I don't want to, <laughs> but, but we shall see. Um, thanks though for tuning in. Um, thanks to everybody that, uh, jumped in, uh, just to see some lethal company. Um, uh, sorry, not Lethal Company. West of Loathing. We played some Lethal Company last night, which was great. Um, probably some more Lethal Company in the future. Uh, I'm not sure if we're streaming uh, Gears of War tomorrow morning or not. I would assume we are, but it might be Gears of War and then something else once we finish Gears of War. So stay tuned for that. Um, and then some other stuff coming up this week that I haven't really decided on yet. So uh, Avatar again tomorrow, tomorrow night. Don't forget, four more episodes of Avatar. Um, the last airbender making our way through season one. Um, it's, it's going to be good. Um, but yeah, thank you guys. And I'll see you guys next time. Tea and honey. I'm glad I, I can't do honey and tea for some right, for some reason, but it's fine. Tea and sugar. Also good. Also good. I'm going to go get some of that right now. Everybody. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.